to draw and how to rig. Piggy course. Welcome to this grease pencil drawing and rigging course for beginners. You will learn everything you need to make and rig the piggy, but you can support me by buying the extended version from my Gumroad. The final rig is included in the download or you can buy it separately. This course is beginner friendly, but you may want to watch the general beginner tutorial first and the introduction videos to rigging and weight. The links are in the description. Pay attention to the green text that appears during the video as it contains very important Important information. In this third part, we create the armature, rename and parent the bones, symmetrize them, create inverse kinematics, connect the armature to our character, and add weight to vertex groups. So now, let's just start rigging. Let's go to object mode, just hit this little icon here, and now we do shift A and armature single bone. We go to edit mode, tab, and we select our bone, select the center, not one of the balls, because if you do G now, you will move the ball. If you select the center and do G, you can move the whole bone. Let's resize this bone. You can either do S or you can select one of the balls and do G to move it, Z to move it on the Z axis, and you can resize the bone like this also. So this will be the body bone. Select it again, G, Z, and move it here. Select this ball, G, Z, and move it here. Now we extend it, E, to create a new bone connected to the other bone and Z to move it vertically create a new bone by doing shift A let's move it here G let's resize with S let's make it the arm bone but I can't see the extremity of my arm so I will enable x-ray here and I still can't see anything so I change mode to solid mode and now I can see the end of my arm so G get this ball move it with G E now to extend it and have another bone here we want to use IK here for the arms so you can make your bones straight like this or you can bend them like this a little bit let's get rid of this white background I think I should go here this arrow and change to theme yes nice let's duplicate these two shift T move them here to the end of the leg and this one to the other end this one in the middle so here make sure that you have some bending because we will use ik here or inverse kinematics the foot bone e extend like this and do x to move it on the x-axis and have a horizontal bone like this you can choose to have inverse kinematics in the arms too i find that it's easier to work with the arms if they are using forward kinematics and with the legs if they are using inverse kinematics it's more useful in the legs again we will create a pole bone here so e and extend x again to restrict it on x and have a horizontal bone so this pole bone will allow flipping the foot from this side to the other side and then we create another one here e again and x and this will be the inverse kinematics bone this is the bone that we will use to move the foot and to rotate it, etc. We will need to create a root for the body bone. Left click on this ball and do E, X and create a root. And then we duplicate this one, Shift D and create the main root bone. So this bone will be able to move the whole armature. And this one will be able to move the body up and down. And this one will move only the body without moving the legs. Because in Peppa Pig, sometimes the body moves and the legs stay in place. They don't bend. Now let's select this bone and duplicate it again. We will have a bone for the eye. I can't see my eyes. So maybe we change mode here. Select the center of the bone G and move it to the center of the eye. Nice. And now you can select this ball and resize the bone. G, Z, move this ball on the Z axis. And we have a bone that will control this iris here. Duplicate it again and we will have a bone in the center. And this one will be a parent of both iris bones and will move the irises around. You may have noticed that we are only doing the left side. That's because we will just symmetrize the bones to the other side and save ourselves some time. Now we duplicate this bone again and I want to rotate it 90 degrees. So I do R for rotate and then Y to rotate it on the Y axis. That means the axis that goes from front to back. Type in 90 for 90 degrees and voila. We move it here. So this bone we'll use to close and open the eyes. Then we add another bone. So we duplicate again, shift T. And this one will be for the nose. Select this ball, G, X. Make it a little bit bigger. This one will shift between this nose in frame 1 and the one in frame 2. Let's duplicate this again. Shift T. This is the bone that will deform the mouth. Again, shift T. Another bone. This one will be able to change the shapes of the mouth. And there will be another one to control the size of the mouth and also the size of the shin. Shift D. And this one will switch between the hand shapes. 
and if you select one of the bones and go here under bone properties you see that it has the form enabled this means that this bone will be able to move and resize and deform our grease pencil strokes we will need that for this bone and for this bone for the bones controlling the arms the body and the legs this one and this one but the other bones like the pole like the root like this bone that switches shapes they don't deform the strokes so for these we need to disable the form so we go here this one will just be a parent of this bone and won't deform anything it will just move this bone so we disable the form in this one also we disable the form this one this one this one the pole bone and this one also this one and this one now let's rename our bones let's start from the head we select one bone we do f2 let's name this irises enter this one f2 iris just iris for now and this one let's name it eye or eye control since we have just one bone for the eye let's just name it eye this one we name it head this one mouth this one mouth control mouth dot ctrl this one nose or nose control so this one head and this one body f2 body this one f2 arm this one f2 forearm this one hand just hand or hand control this one body dot root and this one just to root thigh pole it could be leg pole but we just have one pole f2 ik inverse kinematics bone and this one f2 foot let's go here under armature properties to viewport display and display the names we'll also make it in front so that all the bones show in front of our grease pencil strokes we can enable access too so that we can see the axis on which the bone rotates so let's check the names we forgot this one f2 leg now we do some parenting but first here if we move this bone it is connected to these two so we do alt p to disconnect it so we can either clear parent or we can just disconnect it so this connects and then we can move it gx here the pole needs to be far from the leg so that it doesn't accidentally cross this area here and flip the foot and then we disconnect this one too alt p disconnect bone and we will parent this guy here and this guy to this body root here so select this one shift select this one and then lastly shift select this one and now we do control p and make parent but keep offset so that they stay in their place and be parented to this guy now this guy needs to be parented to the main root bone so we select it and then shift select the root bone control p make parent and keep offset this one should be parented to the body the hand control and also this guy so select shift select shift select control p make parent and keep offset yes you see this line here going to the body bone this one was already parented i guess i think all these bones are parented to the body bone but we need to parent them to the head bone first we parent the iris bone to the irises bone shift select control P. this one will be parented to this guy i will shift select this one this one this one this one we leave only the iris bone and then lastly shift select the head bone Control p make parent and keep offset i think the parenting is done so we are doing all these steps before symmetrizing the bones to the other side to save us some work for example now we do the ik and later when we symmetrize we get our ik ready and we don't have to do it twice so we need to go to pose mode to do the ik thingy Control tab and choose pose mode here we select the leg bone we go here under bone constraints we go here to this drop down and we select inverse kinematics then we select a target and that will be our ik bone so first we select the armature our armature we can rename the armature to i don't know piggy armature maybe enter so here we have piggy armature as a target and we choose our bone that is the ik bone you can type ik and get your ik here then we choose a pole target again our piggy armature and our pole bone p yes very nice and you see that we have a mess here so the chain length needs to be two i think it counts the one that has the constraint and the one above so one two then the angle you see that the leg was flipped so maybe we need to change this to 180 yes it works so now if we move the body root g the ik bones stay in place and we get this bend in here and if we move the ik bone we can move the leg like this then if we take the pole and move it with g to the other side you see that it flips 
the leg. Now you see that the foot is rotated when we bend the knee and also if we move the IK like this but we don't want this we want it to stay horizontal to stay on the floor when the legs bend like this. So for that we need a copy rotation constraint. We click on this one shift click on the foot this is the one we will add the constraint to and we do control shift C and we choose copy rotation this one and now it will copy the rotation of the IK bone. So we go to the settings here and we change the axis from all three axes to just so we navigate here to check which is the axis we need and that is the one that goes from front to back the local Z axis. So we choose Z and we change here to local space local space and the second one we change it to local with parent and now if we move the sky the foot will stay on the ground and also if we move the IK it will also stay horizontal it will have the same rotation as the IK and to rotate the foot we need to rotate the IK so R and you can rotate like this and now if we flip and we select the IK again so if you can select it from the first time click again to select the IK again and do R and now we can rotate it like this I don't know why it's doing this let's select all the bones and do Alt G Alt R to reset our rotations and movements let's try again yes it works fine I don't know why it did that the first time again A Alt R Alt G I think it is time to start symmetrizing the bones so let's go back to edit mode tab now we can select the bones that we wish to symmetrize so not these ones in the center and not the irises bone and not the mouth bone not the nose bone and all the rest should be symmetrized so let's do box select these three then shift box select these three and shift box select these four and then this one was not selected so we do shift left click on it before symmetrizing we do right click and we go to names and we do auto name left right nice and now we have dot l added to all these bones and they were identified as left bones now we right click again and we do symmetrize Ta -da! everything should be fine now except the iris here that should be here in the center of the eye so we select these two bones box select and we do g x to move them on the x axis and try to center this bone on the iris yes this bone also needs to be closer to the mouth so g x and move it here and maybe rename these two bones so let's name this one f2 let's name it mouth shape and this one f2 mouth size and let's go to pause mode and test again see if our ik is working select this bone both legs work i will disconnect this bone from this so that we have more freedom in moving the head so back to edit mode tab and we select this bone alt p and not clear parent but disconnect bone and now it is still parented but it is disconnected so tab again and now if we move it we can move the head bone wherever we want and rotate it etc i guess it's time to parent our grease pencil object to our armature first i think we should do a and then reset our rotation and movements alt r alt g if you did some resizing of the bones you can do alt s too let's go to object mode hit this icon here let's select our grease pencil object shift select the armature Control p and set parent to armature the form with empty groups so click on this one and now if we click on our grease pencil object and go here under our object data properties and go to our vertex group you see that we have some vertex groups populated and these vertex groups represent all the bones that have the form enabled that's why it is good to disable the form from the bones that we don't need for the formation so that we don't get junk groups here that will confuse us and that we don't need let's move this vertex groups section here by clicking here and dragging it let's move it on top of everything so that we have our vertex groups and layers close together and we can switch easily between layers and vertex groups to assign weight to our vertex groups there are two methods the first one is to go to weight paint mode so let's try it with the body let's select the body layer here and we have auto lock and active layers enabled then we select the body vertex group and we have this brush here and we have the strength set to one and the weight set to one and we can just paint the body like this and it's done if we switch vertex groups now we can't see the weight anymore we need to select the body to see it another method is to do it in edit mode so control tab go to edit mode and here we can start with the head it is the most complex part here so we go to the layers we select the eye layer it will be controlled with the head bone and then the left eye so we unlock this layer too the irises no they have their own group iris left and iris r again the eye fell yes we paint this one the other eye 
Eiffel. The mouth, no, it has its own bone. The head, of course, the nose also, and the head mask. The mask, mask and the nose. So these unlocked layers are the ones that we will paint and we will also make sure that all the frames are painted. So these layers unlocked, we do A. Now we have all the frames selected here and we can enable multi-frame here. And then we do A again here in the viewport so that we select every single point. And then we go here, make sure that the weight here is set to one and then do assign. And now we have the weight recorded in our head vertex group. Now we do the left iris. So we select the irises layer and all the others were auto locked. We select one point from the left eye and we do L and then assign. Then we select the right iris. We select one point from the right iris L to select all the points and then assign again. The mouth, now we select the mouth layer and all four frames are selected. Shift mid mouse button and move to the mouth. Everything seems to be selected, but let's do A to be certain. And then with the mouth selected, we do assign. Then to the left arm and we go to the left arm layer. And here we need to select the upper arm here from the edge to this point here close to this ball. So we select like this. And now these points we assign them to arm left assign. We do need multi frame here in the arm and everything is selected. Multi frame is enabled. We select the forearm, the left forearm and we select all these strokes here to this ball again. So this point was selected in the previous group and also in this group. Do assign for the forearm. Now the right arm, all three frames are selected. Select our right arm, box select to this ball and now we do assign. I think the body layer needs to be under the right arm layer. So let's move it down. So again, select the right arm layer and box select to this ball here, to this point that is close to the ball and make sure all the points were selected in the hands. Be careful of doing like this, for example, and you miss this point here. Don't miss anything. Later you get some glitches and you have no idea why it's happening. And it's just one point that you missed when you were assigning vertex groups. So assign and then the left thigh. First we select the right leg here. We could have put the legs in one layer, but it's okay. So no, the left leg and we select points until we reach the ball of this bone. We select our left leg and we do assign. No, the thigh. So I made a mistake. I assigned weight to the leg and now how to get rid of it. We should do remove. Then we deselect and with the leg selected, we do select and see if we still have some points assigned. No, no more points assigned. That means that we remove the points successfully. Back to the thigh, select to this ball, assign. Now the leg, select again from this point to this point. Box select to this point here and we do assign. Now the left foot, we select all these horizontal points, assign again. Now the right thigh, let's select the right leg here. So again, points to this ball, assign. Now the leg, again, from this point to the bottom, assign. And now the foot, all the horizontal lines and assign. I think we are done. Here we can't see our grease pencil object anymore because it's parented to the armature. So if you hit this arrow here, you can see our piggy under the armature. And here we can click this icon and get back to object mode, select our armature and go to pause mode, control tab. We are in pause mode now and we can test our weight painting. So you select the head bone. You see that we can move it. Let's select our piggy and the zebra onion skin. Nice. Back to the armature. G. We can move the head. We can rotate it, of course escape now the nose doesn't do anything we need to set up our drivers and our modifiers if you move the irises here you can move the irises and if they get out you see that they become invisible because the eye background is acting as a mask of course if you get too far the left eye will get to the right i trust that you won't do such things if you want to bend the leg while moving the body use this bone like this oh it's not working there is a problem with parenting. Let's go to edit mode, select this bone, shift select this bone. So we forgot to parent this bone to this one. Control P, make parent and keep offset. Back to pause mode. And now this bone moves the whole body. And this one moves, I hit H by mistake. So control Z, G, yes, moves only the body and the upper parts. The IK, you saw that it's working. The knees are bending correctly. I think I forgot also to add a bone to the shadow. So we will do that. Let's go to edit mode, tab. Let's copy one of these bones, the body bone, shift T, Z and move it here. Let's try to do a flip. So control M, Z, left click and then G, Z, move it here to the center of the shadow. Select this ball, G, Z and move it here. Name this one shadow, F2. 
Here's another demonstration of how you could always fix something that you forgot to make. See if the form is enabled. Yes, it is. Let's go back to object mode, select our object and go here under vertex groups and add a vertex group manually and name it shadow. Make sure it's the same name of your bone. Go to edit mode and we select our shadow. Of course, we need to select the shadow layer first. Everything is selected, but to make sure really everything is selected, we do A, go up and assign. And now again to object mode, select the armature, control tap to pause mode, select the shadow bone and try to move it. Yes, it does move. With S, we can resize it. Very good. This is the end of part three. Subscribe, leave a like, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. In the next video, we finish by adding time offset modifiers to control shapes and animations, add drivers to control everything with bones, and learn to use basic scripted expressions and bone constraints. Thanks for watching, and peace.